Hey everybody, welcome to Stealth TV. I'm Stealth. Today I'm going to be bringing you another StarCraft 2 game, because that's all I've been doing lately is playing StarCraft 2 and Diablo 3. And quite frankly, Diablo 3 is not a very good recording game. I'll get into that a little bit later. Because today we have a game on Antigua Shipyard, which comes from the European server. I can tell by the name, because it was... Well, it was European. I couldn't even pronounce it. Anyways, let me reduce those players up here in the top. Right, we have Jimmy, playing it as our red Protoss, and down here in the bottom, well, I'm gonna say bottom right, about right area, we have Mario, playing as our blue Terran, who does that weird thing where you just spam your command center across all your hotkeys. I don't know why people do it, but I've seen a lot of people do it. I guess that way they can just hit any key up there and be sure to get their command center right away. But, so we're going to have a TVP at Antigua Shipyard. And, honestly, I, I'm liking the uh, the positioning for Protoss a lot more on the Terran. Because Terran's third has got to go towards towards his opponent. While the Protoss's is going away. So this is definitely going to be good for our guy Jimmy up here. So, barracks being laid down. Gateway and one gas being laid down for Jimmy. We'll have to see what the timings are on that to see if we can predict what build that's going to be. I always like trying to do that, even though I'm not the best at it yet. But yes, as I have said before, ooh, Jimmy's not going to be scouting right away. But Mario is, he's going to be getting right in that base. Sorry. Anyways, as I was saying before, Diablo 3 is like, I don't know, it's a fun game to play, but it's got to be a. a entirely boring game to watch. Sure, there's stuff dying everywhere, but it's kind of like watching World of Warcraft if you never really played. You have no idea what's going on. There's just bright flashes, and guys going everywhere, and bodies flying everywhere, and blood, and it's cool to be in it, but from an outside perspective, you have no idea what's going on. So You're not going to be seeing any of that uh, on my channel, or if I start up my live feed ever again if I if the internet can handle it. Oh, yeah, you won't see any of that from me. It just doesn't... It's not a very good spectator sport. Unlike StarCraft 2, which is an amazing thing to spectate. Alright, well, I have to say, Mario, he was floating quite a few minerals right there, but I thought he was just kind of distracted from the harassing he was doing up there, but no, indeed, he wasn't going to lay down that command center. So, one racks expand out of Mario. And it looks like, I'm guessing we're going to see a three gate robo out of Jimmy, but it's hard to say with the gas timing. <coughs> oh my goodness. That came out of nowhere. Apologize for that. Whew, I think I'm alright. I think I'm going to live. Oh yeah, two more barracks being laid down for Mario. We're going to see a lot of marines. Does he have any gas yet? Oh my goodness, no he doesn't. So we're going to be seeing a lot of marines. This is going to be one of those probably five racks pushes with that one gas being laid down right now probably just to get up a little a few upgrades maybe to start popping off some marauders a little bit later. Looks like Jimmy though he is routing his all of his units for or his Zella and Stalker forward. I guess that's about all of his attacking units. Oh and actually okay Bad miss rally for a second there. I thought that stalker was going to come, come up and face death. Uh, Jimmy's going to get in here before that bunker's done, but that's a lot of marines. I don't know if they're going to be able to kite that zealot, but the stalker's going to have to get out, there, out of there as well. That is just too many marines. Not enough DPS there from Jimmy to really do anything about it. <laughs> and he's letting Mario know that. Like, oh, well, that didn't work out so well. And now, after laying down a Nexus for his expansion down there, he is going to lay down two more gateways. And I'm sure we're going to see that Robo pop out just about any time now. So even on the European server, people are still taking expansions quite early. A lot earlier than they used to. You know, it's standard now. Uh, these are Diamond players. And obviously, Mario has a lot of... A lot of plays on StarCraft because he has an extra logo. That's something you get very often. And there's the Robo facility being laid down. 
before Jimmy. But uh, it's going to come down to the big timing push here from Mario. He's getting a factor two. He may be doing. He may be trying to get up to a uh, Stargate, Starport, whichever one it is for Terran. I always get those two confused between Terran and Protoss. Uh, but yeah, he may be trying to get some medevacs out. He might just actually try to do a drop in the base, which would be his best bet because the distance between the two bases is well, not really a whole lot. I'm getting a lot of lag here for some odd reason, and I apologize for that as well. Hopefully that clears up. It's odd to be getting lag in a replay. So yeah, you can see that, you know, now Mario has his other gas guys are going. And the reactor, reactor's actually being laid down on the, on the barracks, wasn't what I was expecting. There we go, our reactor going down on the factory, and then we see the starport going on right next to it. I'm going to do the swap and get a couple medifacts out right away. But, yeah, Mario is definitely going, you know, heavy bio with two reactors and two tech labs. He's going to be able to pump out a lot of units all at once. Ooh, Jimmy, though, he's going to get a great scout out here and see everything that's going on with that observer. That's going to be very nice for him. He's going to be able to prepare a lot better. But he's already pretty prepared, actually, with getting those... Uh, pylons out back here. I think this one is actually back here just to hide tech. You know, the forge, twilight council, that kind of stuff. Maybe even a dark shrine eventually. But it's actually going to do a lot of good just having this stuff back here to block any sort of drop or notify of any drop and do a nice warp in while he moves all these units up back to the, the main base. Ooh, and Jimmy, actually, he's feeling pretty confident right now. He's going to take be taking a third and th this demonstrates really what I said, how uh, Protoss' third or Jimmy's third is going to be up here, while Mario's natural third is right here, which is basically touching Jimmy's base. I mean, it'd be so easy for Jimmy to just to load up a, a uh, warp prism and do a quick little drop over there. Oh, and actually Jimmy, he, he knows the drop's coming. He saw the medevacs most likely, yep, saw the switch off, saw the medevacs being popped out knows that a drop is likely. He's going to throw down just a couple cannons down here just to get off a little early defense, maybe soften those medivacs before he, while he does the warp in. Uh, good idea. Not overcommitting at all. It doesn't look like he's laying down any cannons really anywhere else. No. Just those two. And, you know, the forge is basically being used just for upgrades. But, hey, if you could build a couple cannons, why not? Pretty mean-looking force here from Mario, though. Lots of marines, lots of marauders. Gonna leave one marine in that bunker just for a little tiny bit of defense. Uh, good, good supply depot wall though. When he, if he raises that, there ain't no walking through there. And here we go. Mario is gonna do a big push out here. Jimmy's gonna see it coming. Well, I could be wrong about that actually. He just moved out to kill that observer, leaving Jimmy in the dark. And there we go. The third command center is gonna be going down, and the double engineering base to pop out those upgrades. As fast as he can. Psy Storm is going down. Right, or just getting started. No, not the Twilight Council. Where is it? There it is, Templar Archives. So, Psy Storm is now just getting started. It's actually a pretty fast upgrade. It all is going to come down to whether he has any high temps with enough energy. Because Mario, he's moving out right now. He's he's set. He's got his four medevacs. His tons of Marines and Marauders with Stim. And I don't think Jimmy has enough splash damage to do anything about this. He has a couple high temps, but they're pretty low on energy. And in fact, the storm's not even done yet. Mario's going to storm right up the gate. Great force fields from Jimmy. Maybe could have used a couple less. But nonetheless, he had a lot of sentries there, so he could use a little bit more energy. But Mario, though, he just has so many units. Good, another good force field. But Jimmy just had enough units. He doesn't even have. Uh, he's not warping in any right now. I think he just knows that even with a small warp in, I don't think there's any possible way that he can come out of this. There's just so much DPS. Those medevacs are very well. They're getting low on energy now, so he might have a shot with a good storm or two. A couple of medevacs sitting over here, and Jimmy saying he made no mistake. 
the Terran. A little sour about how, how strong Terran is. The only thing I think Jimmy could have done a little bit any different, really, to keep uh, Mario out of his base was not get that third. You know, that third is a big investment right there. Oh, sniping off those High Templars before they have enough energy. He actually has enough right now for one storm. But he needs a clutch storm right now. Cleaning up a lot of the units, though. Jimmy may be able to do a little bit more damage here. Gets a good storm off. Oh, but the Zealot's not in the best of positions. And Jimmy knows the damage is done. He gives the GG. And leaves game. Great game there from Mario. Just doing a really good example of, uh, you know, a mass bio play for Terran. Uh, looks like his rally point did get reset. Probably He probably had it rallied on a unit, and that unit got killed. So he had a big army back home just ready to go at any moment. Uh, like I said, I think the only chance Jimmy would have even had in that is if he had not taken that third the third was a little bit greedy and he paid the price for it all right guys i'll have that subscribe button down here in the bottom right down here so if you like what you saw subscribe and i will see you later then peace